And here we are, Drexel University versus St. Clair College. Here we are on the first map. That is a position there. He's, He's getting ready. it up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting things off today on Mirage, my personal favorite map. You wouldn't be able to tell that by looking at my win record on it. But as we get things kicked off, we see Miggy picking off one, going down in response. But they're finding their way onto the point. It seems that Drexel, they're going to be able to take over B site here. And they're making their way through. Shots are going out, but Feb is going to take out Petro in the window. It's going to be, okay, Drexel is going to take round one, and Saints are going to have to recover. Yeah, the Saints are going to have to recover here. After losing that first round, that's going to sting. Drexel off to a strong start. And would you say this map, Mirage, is more an attacking site or a defending map? I'm personally the worst person to ask because I <laughs> there is no map that is favored for me. Whatever side I'm on, it's favored the opposite. But right. the common uh, understanding, I believe it's a slightly defense-favored map just based off how close and a easily able you're to, you are to access yes. <laughs> Sorry, the entry points on the CT side. Ooh, it's just a lot nice harder to push in. But the push-ins are coming through the Saints wow. off of their pistol round that they lost. They're gonna be playing off the back foot, and but they're still gonna be able to get a lot of key pickoffs now. They're gonna be trying to push over onto a site, and uh, Drexel, they're gonna take it out, and they're gonna win their second round in a row. I wanna give props to F there. He got, I think, three assists and two kills there. It was, he was a, a unit in that round, as you can see, top of the leaderboard. Not to count out Feb, though. Feb has been finding their picks. Overall, Drexel's off to an amazing start here. And the Saints really need to start catching up here. Yeah, I mean, now the Saints, uh, they have some money to work with, but they they really do need to make sure they win this round or else they're going to be in a lot of trouble going forward. Right now, uh, you know, Drexel, they have some money to work with left over from their rifle purchases, but Petro isn't going to go down. Shot through the smoke, through a headshot, a flash is going to be coming out of Cat, and Mickey is going to give Andy a boost onto the top of that box. He's going to get the jump on Reen. Maybe pushing up the catwalk, but no, they're not going to see each other. He already made his way to that side. Feb and Rai are going to have a bad engagement. Reen is going to take down Mickey as he turns his attention to the wrong spot at the wrong time. Petro might be able to find a favorable engagement through Connector, but... Yes, he's Ooh. able to get it. He's able to find that kill as he walks up. Gonna have to rotate, see if they can recognize that B is gonna be the place to be for Drexel University. But they are gonna be able to get that plant, most likely not gonna face any resistance, and the Saints are gonna be making their way over there. Get the plant for free, and now they're gonna have to try and rotate all the way over there. They're on the opposite side of the map. Maybe, just maybe, they're gonna go for a save try and play for exits off of the site because they did invest pretty heavily into this round you don't want to lose every single rifle you've bought and now we're gonna look over at petro here he's jiggle peeking this corner he wants to see this push coming from feb here who's gonna see who first he sees the jiggle peek he takes a shot does just barely misses in on over and now Pietro is gonna try and get out of here as the rest of Drexel is now on the hunt for Petro they smelled them and now they're gonna try and finish the job but bomb blows up Drexel wins the round I think Petro's gonna get out yeah I mean realistically there isn't a way to make that play go in your favor on the Saints side you kind of just have to accept the loss and move forward it's not what you want to have happen but it's better than making things worse for yourself for sure sometimes you just have to accept the state of the game and make the most of it so that's what they're gonna be doing in this next round they have some rifles saved over from the last one but they are gonna pick up some deagles just so if they can get some long-range pickoffs all AKs on the side of Drexel and they're gonna be making a strong Strong push over to A site. They already have some nades going out. Saints have two over on B, one making the rotation through Cat right now. So when things really hit the fan, they will at least be able to make rotations coming through. But Bite is going to be able to find an insane entry frag. The smokes are going off, sectioning off parts of the map that they don't want to have to deal with. JBH over in Ticket is going to get torched out, forced to go back. But before that, Molly even lands, he's going to get taken out by Feb. And Miggy not able to find the head up through connector with the Deagle. But <laughs> Rai with probably the nastiest angle of all time. 
lives, see if he can find anything. But gonna lose his patience here, maybe lose his life for it. But we're gonna see if he's able to at least get the one pick off that the Saints so desperately crave. Gonna pre fire there. Now he knows he's there, but he's gonna get flicked on and lose his life in that engagement. Drexel taking another round. I think he got a body shot there. His aim was just a little <laughs> bit off. Just he's gonna do some hit armor damage at least. Shoulder. But nonetheless, Saints now still having a rough time here. They just haven't won a single round so far, and Drexel is continuing to run away with it right now. Even if Saints win the next round, Drexel's still going to be very well off economy-wise. Now it looks like Drexel's going to go for a fast push over to A, maybe even B, actually. They're going to push for mid-control, and they find two through a flash, but Petro finds two right back, and now Chosen finds one more on Petro. It's a 2v3 situation for the Saints. It's going to be an uphill battle, but it is not unwinnable. They have the guns in their hands. They have an op on the board. If they play this slowly and carefully, they might be able to salvage this one. Right now, it looks like B is going to the site in which the bomb is going to be planted. The smoke goes out. He just barely sees him. Did they see him right back? He finds one. He's looking for another. He's right behind the corner. Does he know? He fires bullets through the wall. Doesn't find anything, though. Rai is looking... Very good right now. We see an op covering the Very off good. angle here, covering the window. And Bomb has he, been planted by Drexel. And he's got the op. This means danger for Drexel. They have to make sure. Oh, and just like I said, Andy is able to find one with the op. Such a deadly player with that gun in hand. Rai making the peek over. He sees his shoulder, finds the T member of Drexel, and is going to be able to get the defuse. Whether Yeah, they definitely have enough time to defuse it, especially with the defuse kit, and the Saints are going to take their first round in this series. And a good first round. They really brought it back there. The 2v3 Petro getting the double at the beginning was a key for them. They wouldn't have been able to do it without him. And now they just got to keep playing for those picks. They got to play for those initial first kills. And hopefully this is the start of some momentum here because they sorely need it. And yeah. I have a good feeling about this, you know, you, sometimes it just takes the first win to get things going. Just get things moving, get that ball rolling down the hill. But speaking of balls rolling down hills, we're going to see Drexel rolling down to A very quickly. True. Being stopped by some ordnance here, the smokes and the mollies coming in clutch. We're going to move good. over to the Chosen here, back to Feb in mid. See another flash come out, trying to lay the push oh. from the Saints, but the Saints, they're on defense, they don't have to overly commit. This map looks like a chessboard right now, and all the pawns are in place for an excellent gambit. The A push gambit through palace and tunnels, and they're going to be pouring through. They have one on ticket for Saints. Whether well, or not going to be able to be very effective is yet to be seen. JB is going to take down one off the engagement there, but Petro on top of the stairs, falling down now. They definitely know he's in the area, but not quite sure exactly where he is. Taking some damage on the side of Drexel. Nobody's going to fall quite yet over here but now we're going to see some bodies starting to fall jbh is going to get headshot over on ticket and andy is going to be holding down this angle with the op they're going to be able to wipe out most of drexel but this last man standing posing a threat for andy but can he take him down no not quite just one bullet will be enough and he gets the pre-fire gotta get the headshot that's more than enough to get the kill and saints are going to take their second round and a very close round. That was almost checkmate for them there. <laughs> as they had their backs up against the wall. And hopefully the op, luckily the op came in clutch there. And that's what I like to see. The Saints aren't crumbling under this pressure. They're taking it slowly. They're not totally freaking out. Mm -hmm. And they're just taking these rounds. They are winning them by a hair every single time. But they're still winning them. And I think they're comfortable with that. And now it's up to Drexel to respond here. They only have a few more rounds in which they can really invest this much into. So we'll see if they can try and swing the momentum back in their favor here. Looks like they're going to rush over to B, taking that upward hallway here. See a lot of flashes come out over on the side of the Saints here. Going to go see Ryce's hop up on this planet, hold the tight corner. Yeah, Rai in a very good spot as they are pushing through apartments. They're not going to see him. He's going to be able to at least get one before everything kind of pops off. He's going to find one, two, three now in the apartments. Hey, oh, he's going to get the, <laughs> the worth out of his patience there. And now the push from Drexel is put to a stop. It's just Feb left able to see if they can find anything off of that because... 
that was a really good kind of uh, shutout by the Saints. If you can even get a pickoff, it'll feel a little bit good, but going to do a lot of damage there. Close, but no cigar, and Rye That's is going to take him down. That's going to be an incredible 4K by Rye, and that's going to take another round for the Saints. So that plant was fruitful there, just sitting atop of it, waiting, abiding his time, and it was worth it. It paid dividends there, wiping out nearly the whole team in one spray. That's what you love to see. And now Rye CS, top of the kill board here for the Saints. He's looking very, very good. But now, just one more point to tie things up against Drexel. Do you think the Saints will be able to do it, Daniel? Do you think this is where they carry this move Ooh. forward? I mean, Andy has an op, so uh, odds are looking good, but taking a lot of pressure here in Crow's Nest. He is going to be forced out. Molly is going to go in connector. Not sure if the smoke is going to take that one down just yet, but the frag coming out, doing a lot of work. These The nade usage on the side of Drexel is incredible, and it's allowing them to take over such critical parts of the map for their pushes that they're making. Another one, a flash coming out. It's even going to damage Petra. Flashes aren't able to do that usually, but when you use them so perfectly, you could even get a point of damage off while played by Drexel. Unintentional, but you'll take what you can get there. Now they're going to be able to kind of reset their offense. They are going to rotate over with the bomb over to A. They still have, I believe that might be JBH if uh, trends show to be correct. Yeah, JBH over on ticket. So as soon as they show up, he will be able to see them if they push up through tunnels which it seems they want to be doing also have a saint in jungle for anyone pushing up through connector which again there are so it's just going to be a matter of time before the nades are coming out pressure is going to come out onto ticket jbh is going to be under fire and the pushes are coming up through connector but petro puts a stop to both of them f is going to take him down however and now oh f is going to take down andy and jbh but bite takes out miggy it's a 2v1 now the saints only got one left rai is going to have to take down both of drexel university finest and then get the defuse it's not going to be easy but can he pull it off that is the question here if there's anybody you want to be your last man it's going to be rise going to peek the corner he's looking away he gets the kill it's a 1v1 situation here bomb is down time is ticking he needs to find him past this smoke he's killing the site okay. he gets the kill as well and that's going to be another round for the saints and that is going to be an even score line yeah they had a bit of a rough start for sure but the saints have found their footing and they're bringing this game back one round at a time it seems to be the saints are really bringing the heat now they have a lot of money to work with as well drexel they are going to have just enough for a full buy but as always after this one they're going to be in trouble if they end up losing it especially if they lose it to wiping out all of their members they're not going to have any money left in the tank for any buys and they're going to have to win the next round off of fumes but the saints also going for a full buy a lot of util coming out as well maybe more than necessary but at least one of them is pretty rich so they could maybe buy a gun or two next one if they do lose this one so the saints Gonna have to play careful, but not as careful as Drexel's going to have to. And they can afford losing one member like Petro as F comes out <laughs> immaculately with the headshot from the AK. More smokes going off, completely clearing out Cat. You're not gonna be able to hold this if you're on the same side. You're gonna have to rotate over to the Crow's Nest. And JBH on top of the stairs is gonna get taken down by Feb from Palace. Mickey's gonna find Reen underneath tunnels there, but Feb is gonna take down Andy. Now in connector, the chosen one, the <laughs> one we all have our faith and glory in, but still the uh, side of Drexel University, they're going to be taking over A and they're going to go for the plant now. The Saints are going to have to find an answer to get the defuse. Yeah, they're going to have to do something and quick. Mickey finds one, finds two, or that's Rai actually finding the second here. And now it's a 2v2 situation. Bomb is down. They know where they are. It's just a matter of time now. Rai CS is pushing up very quickly. He finds a kill. Now it's a 1v2 situation. He's waiting for his teammate to catch up here so they can double peek here. But he's all up high. They're going to try and smoke it out. Use the cover to make a push, and what Ooh. spray control by getting a nice double through the smoke, winning the round for Drexel University. Yeah, Drexel really needed that one full buy with nothing left in the tank. That win is going to net them enough money to really double down. And again, if they can win this one, they'll be in a good spot. Um, Saints, they didn't have a lot of money to work with in the previous one, so they do have some money to work with. Uh, I believe that's going to be Rye with 5k, but they're not 
not going to use that to buy anything. They're just all going to get their deagles and play this one conservatively. And I think that's a smart play. The lead isn't too wide that they have to play aggressively here. They can afford another loss or two. So even if this round doesn't go their way, they're not going to be feeling a lot of pain from it. And they're going to be going to the next round very healthily in the uh, economic side of things. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. They are taking things slow. They're not holding as aggressive angles as they were before. And as for good reason, as Bite finds one there. Still holding this long hallway. Okay, I'm going to get a headshot here from down low. Going to jump. <laughs> sees one. He's like, nope, don't want to deal with that. He's going to back out far back. It's information. Sight. Yeah, information is vital here in CS. Right now, we're going to go back over to Bite and see what information he has. He doesn't have much, but he might have a kill. He's shooting him down. He's surrounded here, and it looks like Reen finds one. Ooh. Oh, trying to find another. Ooh. He's surrounded by all angles, and the Saints are just falling apart here. He finds one, though. JBH with the Deagle gets a kill. Now he just has a 1v4 situation, and it turns out how we all expected it to. Yep, and just like you said, this is about the result that we expected here. The Saints did go into that round with nothing but deagles, but now they have some money to work with. We could start seeing some rifles coming out, or maybe they, mm, I mean, maybe they could actually just go for another cheap round here. Yeah, seems like the deagles are the play yet again for the Saints. Uh, it kind of worked out for them. You know, they were able to do enough economic damage to Drexel for it to matter. You know, uh, losing this round would be pretty bad for Drexel, all things considered, uh, but unlikely still as they all have rifles to work with and the saints have one uh, mp9 and the rest rocking the deagles but with that in mind they're going to be playing aggressively here all of them pushing through tunnels and they're <laughs> actually going to run into feb here whether or not this is going to work out in their favors you have to be seen but they're going to see if they can find feb's head but not going to go their way with bites help they're going to take down the saints pushing up through ramp now it's just one left andy with the deagle holding down a site and they're not even in the area if there's anyone who can do it, it might be Andy here. He's here on site holding this far corner. He's going to have to rotate soon, though. There is one hunter trying to seek him out. Oh, he got the van hop. Very oh, nice, very nice. Know. He got the upgrade here. Right now, he can maybe take a gunfight, but it's going to be a tough one. And is he planning to save this into the next round? I think he's not even going to try for the defuse here. He's just going to try and carry this AK with him all the, all the way Next round here. That's going to be another round for Drexel on the board, taking a 7-4 lead right now. They are looking pretty good, at least in this half. Yeah, so far so good for Drexel. They're really establishing a dominant lead over the Saints so far. If, like, I, yep, I mean, this round is going to go to them. I was just going to say, if this round goes their way, which very likely to. Going to pre-fire Andy, recognizing that someone is in the area. The Saints, they did just want to save all their money from those previous two rounds to ensure that they can have a competitive final round. Uh, if you're asking me, though, I think they might have been better off just trying to, you know eke out some victories there even if it was unlikely you are running into the last round and with that loss bonus you would be able to at least afford something do you really need like two smokes and uh, <laughs> two flashes on the last round when you could have won an extra round going to the last half i don't know but that's going to be the play that they went for and now drexel is going to be pushing hard through mid mollies are flying smokes are all over there look at the cs2 is a beautiful game i love the new smokes and how they work They're so nice lovely it allows you to play so dynamically so much in intrigue and interest and it also looks so what beautiful an angle. just like that shot from andy a beautiful angle hell like you said matthias and the frags are coming out it's gonna pave a path through the smokes but not a path to victory as miggy is waiting there in the broom closet petro you're gonna find one cross on catwalk miggy still in broom closet sniper's nest is gonna be held down as well Petro still there, Bite holding it down with the op. It's a simple moment indeed. If his op has anything to say about it, they're going to be sitting tight, sitting snug, waiting for their chance to push up. The bomb is down in the middle. I just noticed, and this is not what you want to see if you're side of the Drexel. The Saints, they are going to be able to hold this down realistically well. I'm not sure if they exactly have eyes on it, but they would be able to tell if somebody on Drexel was going to try to push it up. It's right here. F is able to take it. I think you might have heard that pickup noise. I'm not sure. It definitely sounds loud if you pick it up. I'm not sure if anyone else is able to hear that, but the smokes are going to go down, allowing him to get a clear path over to the B site through Cat. Miggy's not even going to see them, even though he's in the broom closet but rye with the aug gonna Ooh. find bite at the back of the alley and if he comes around peaks this corner he will be able to find f clean and easy throwing out the molly miggy <laughs> is gonna find him though walking through catwalk taking him out 
Yeah, a little bit of a flub molly there, but his teammates there gets the kill. <laughs> it's all good, clean fun. And now we're going to flip the sides here. Drexel, 7-5 into this half. This pistol, if they win this one, they're going to have a mighty fine lead over the Saints here. The Saints, I think they were riding on winning this pistol and trying to even up these rounds mm. as... You could tell. I, I agree with you. I think they should have tried to buy some guns, maybe get a few more rounds there. Yeah. But Going they did into win that round, you know, 5-7. If they win this pistol, make it 7-7. Seven, seven. It, it is just a lot harder mentally going into – again, it, it really is a human monkey brain thing where it's just like 7-5 <laughs> yeah, is just so much harder to look at than like – seven six or, or, six, or six. five six you know like yeah it's, it's just it feels like now in your head you have to do something about it oh, and jbh no. is gonna have to do something about the two teammates that just went down f is gonna be flash not gonna see jbh makes it on his boy flash again but now he sees him now he sees three but they're not gonna see him however jbh still fighting a battle that's already gone but f is not even gonna <laughs> find any of those kills except for that last one so it's almost like he wasn't there to begin it doesn't with matter. it doesn't matter <laughs> matter in the end whether or not they saw him because uh yeah it didn't it didn't matter until that last kill, but the what does matter is the Saints end up losing another pistol round, and they're going to have to be playing off of the back foot yet again. Yeah, Feb was a good cameraman that last match. Got True. a lot yeah. of good angles there, <laughs> and I'm glad we got to see it, but nevertheless, the Saints, I feel like they are in an awful position right now. They tried the gamble, try and even it up on the pistol, and just didn't quite work out for them. But there's always more rounds going forward. This round is definitely going to be tough for them. They're going to go oh, all oh, in, oh. though. Bite finds one, and the deagle shots are just not hitting right now. He tries to find another, and they're all being picked off one by one. Their battalion can't hold on any longer. They're holding oh, the boxes. No. They're trying to hold the line behind the boxes, and it's not going to quite work. <laughs> he finds one, one yeah. and it's not going to be enough, though. <laughs> Miggy held down the fort, the box fort. Uh, it ended up getting captured in the end, but it's the spirit that counts. And Saints now looking at an even scarier scoreline, 9-5 to five here, and we're not talking about a shift, or at least this is a shift that you don't want to have. Saints, they're going to have to go for a full buy here, and it's riding on this one. If they lose this, they're going to be looking at a scoreline of like 12-5 to five after this, yeah. basically. They want it to be overtime here. They want to bring this 12-12 12 to 12 at so. this point. At this rate, that's probably what it's going to be. And right now, Feb hitting from long range. Does he find anything here? They're being very aggressive here on the defense. Ooh, Ooh but again, they almost gets picked off there for good reason. Chosen one being a little bit overconfident, but with good his name. team, F going to find one. A good nade there. I'm not sure if it hit anybody, but I feel like it. I feel like it was a good nade. <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> Miggy, the king of the catwalk, going to be watching through connector, sinking peak bench, and now sniper's nest. It's all clear for him. JBH going to try to find an opening, see if anybody's on van. I think he might have heard that jump there from Feb. Feb's going to see him walking through now with that information exchange going through for the both of them. They're able to kind of reevaluate their next play. Uh, Saints down to two members. Drexel still holding on to a nice, clean, and tidy five. So they're not going to be feeling any pressure here, but the Saints are going to have their backs against the wall. They have to make something work here. They honestly might try to just save, and I, I do like that plan, because you're if you're going to be going to the next round with no money, having at least one or two AKs to try to get something, even an entry frag or um, a follow-up from your entry going Ooh. in could help out a lot, but Feb is going to take down the last two from the push through mid, gone wrong for the Saints, and that's going to be another round that they're looking at a loss in. Saints are going to have five rounds to tie things up, but they're not going to be able to pull that through with this round most likely because they only have pistols to work with. Yeah, only pistols and only two more, two or three more rounds to give up here. It's not looking great is what I'm going to keep saying here as the Saints are just <laughs> unable to really find any footing in this next half. Yeah, they bought a few more expensive pistols so maybe they can make something work here. But... With all this ordinance that Drexel has, they don't really have anything to contest it. They're going to go for a rush here. They find one, find two, but they're going to find one right back. It's going to be bite with a double, triple, and that's all of them going down. But one, only one more on the Saints remains. Can he get it? No. no. Petro goes down to bite. I think that's bite getting every single kill in that <laughs> round. He's yeah, not all bite bark. Yeah, ace. <laughs> I didn't even realize bite found an ace. He's not all bark, like you said. That came to my mind. I'm like, wait, 
did he just say that? So uh, credit, I'll give you the credit there, even if I thought of that originally myself. But in any case, the Saints now, like I said, backs against the wall. They're looking at 11 to 5. They are going to have to full buy here. You don't have any more rounds to goof around. And uh, they are going to be picking up their rifles, their guns, their everything they need, all the util as well. Drexel, of course, in kind, going to do the same because they have all the money in the world. Why not? Yeah, all the money in the world. Might as well spend it. Getting <laughs> comfy with Bezos here. But anyways, <laughs> we have an off okay. mid. Can't really push that one right now. So the Saints aren't. They're going to go for a push over onto A. Ramp is going to be a Rai. He's getting a little cheeky here. They did leave the bomb behind, thankfully. So even if things go wrong, they're not going to be in a... Uh, you know, up the creek without a paddle, I'll put it that way. And they are going to be going up the creek, but wow. they found their paddle just in the nick of time, and they smack a reen machine in the head with it. Going to be finding their opening onto A. You got to check every angle, but even on no scope through a smoke, oh, no. JBH is going to take down by a bite. That's going to go in the montage reel, and hopefully uh, it's not going to end up with more clips in this round for Drexel University as Feb takes on Riva Petro in return, takes him down with the op shot follow up from bite, going to take him down. Andy on the back lines. Miggy is going to be holding down ramp. Going to do F. a lot of damage. Peeking out. Jiggle peeking. Seeing if he can get anything done. Yeah, bomb is down. It's all down to F here. I'm sure his team is hounding him right now. It's just one more guy trying to defuse bomb. Time is running out. He's going to fake the defuse. It's going to be up to Miggy to try and push here. He gets very, very low. And now F knows where he is. He's going to go for the kill. And F pays his respects and takes him down, but <laughs> unable to defuse the bomb. Yeah, like you said, uh, he really paid his respects to Miggy with the bullet <laughs> through the head, but it was a hard fought fight. The Saints were able to get the defuse, or not the defuse, the bomb plant. It's going to go off, stalling long enough, Miggy holding him, bringing him f even further away from the bomb. If, the, if, if that fight happened right on top of the bomb, he would have had time, you know, but so far away, you're not going to be able to get over over to it in time to get the defuse. So now we're looking at 11 to 6. Saints also going for a full buy yet again because, of course, they have no choice. They don't have any real money to work with. So every round counts as well. So they're going to be coming out. With, I think that you're going to be, yep, full pushing over on B. They're going to have the smokes coming out to make their path a little bit more obscured, however. Yep, they are trying to go the stealthy route right now through mid, but there's going to be three watching them. They don't want to peek out oh, here, and F gets one. Delayed reaction there. the long range, yeah, a little bit of a delayed reaction. The flash comes out, going to back behind the wall. We're seeing someone check this hallway. They know the Saints, this is their only other option here, unless they go all the way back to the start. Going to throw a nade down there, delay their start even longer. Now they're just going to have to wait here for this molly to go down. That's going to give enough time for the rest of Drexel to rotate. And Drexel rotation will be coming through indeed. But they're not going to commit everybody on here. I think, uh, for me, pushing B on T side is basically hellish. Uh, it feels <laughs> impossible to do. And maybe that's just my lack of skill showing, or maybe it's just uh, my complete full understanding of the game. But in any case, Rai is going to find the entry frag onto the chosen one. But the fire is going to make it impossible. They're going to have to split themselves up. Petro is going to have to come out and get put down by Feb. Hopping onto the van now to see if they can pick off any more Saints. Andy in the broom closet. Going to see if he can find anybody cheeking up through the sniper's nest. And he might be able to find one if he just holds his line. Just a little bit longer, he finds F with the good spray control. Going to push up a little bit so they don't know where he's going to be exactly. Finding another kill, a wall bang, but the bomb is down and they can't get the plant off in time, especially since Feb, I believe, is still on the point. It's going to be very difficult, but coming through, going to land, and it was a desperate attempt, and they had to make something happen there, but it's not going to go their way. Losing that next round, Drexel University taking things 12-6. to The Saints only have one more round before the fat lady sings and takes us out of this. I gotta give props to Feb. Feb is putting in work here. Hey, it may be March, but Feb's still trying to make it in February. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying yeah. to do riffs for Love each that name. A little bit more. The, the, the hardest one's probably going to be Reen Machine. Because what is that? What even is that? If we're going to have to take a step back and think about it. But no time to think <laughs> as we're already into potentially our final round here. The Saints, need their back is up against the wall. They need to win six rounds in, the row, in a row here. And it looks like they can go for that hellish B push once again. And then once again, the 
Wheels of time will spin, and as time progresses, motion occurs, and a bullet flying through Andy's head is going to take him out. Maggie with the flash assist from Petra is going to take down Bite. Petra also taking down on Catwalk, the chosen one, Feb, in return, taking him out. It's all these trade kills, one after the other, one after the other. It's just a constant cycle of death. Can we put an end to it? But JBH is going to put an end to Feb, who has been perpetuating that cycle of de life and death consistently. Miggy as well, taking down F. Probably another propagator of that cycle of life and death. So good at getting those kills for Jackson University. But now it's just Reen going to be pushing through market, seeing if they can get anything done. Might be worthwhile to save, honestly, but going to push nonetheless. You have a you have a six-round lead. You're not really feeling scared if you lose this one when you could potentially end the game if you are able to play strong enough. So not going to go their way. Uh, Mickey with the op <laughs> holding down market exactly. So it's going to be 12-7 to 7 now for the Saints. Puts an end to the cycle here puts an end to it yeah the cycle <laughs> he of broke loss. the cycle there we go the cycle of loss has been broken and now will the saints be able to start their own cycle here will they be able to cycle their way to the top of this mountain that is this point gap <laughs> they knew when five more rounds money's in their hands if they play this right it's not quite impossible here yeah i the problem will just be playing it right though because so far they I mean, just looking at the results, they haven't been, you know. Yes. I, but I feel like they're slowly finding the game plan they want to go through, and they're finding their important picks like this, you know. I feel like earlier in the game, Miggy would have lost that gunfight, but he won it this time, and this is, again, where it really matters. So it's a very good thing he's able to get that pick off now. Andy just really throwing his money down the drain. Every nade he had just going into uh, that under ladder there, jumping through pallets, and he's going to jump down, get the kill onto Reen, who's holding down the point. Andy now, he has a Blood lust taking down all of the side of Drexel University gonna get put down eventually by the chosen one. Only the chosen one can vanquish the villain of great darkness, and that's his, gonna be his task for today. F is gonna take down the last second last member of the Saints, rather, and it's just gonna be JBH versus him. It's gonna be a 1v1. They both will have a very dangerous one-shot <laughs> headshot weapon, so we're going to see who's going to get the drop on who here. On paper, though, this should go over to the Saints. He has all the utility. He has the bomb. Things should go in his favor, but it is so terrifying going up against Drexel. This deagle with one placed, well-placed headshot, that spells the end for the Saints in this game one. They don't want to give this one up. It's been a hard-fought <laughs> time to get here mm -hmm. all the way to seven points. Momentum is in their favor. They don't want to throw it all here. He's going to jump all the way down to B here. Being very, very deliberate to make sure it's clear. Now he's going to start the plant, and that's going to be the signal for the player on the side of Drexel to move on over here to B. Time is ticking. It's beeping, beeping, beeping. Will he just pick up a gun? No, I think he's deciding between saving and running it, and running it is looking to be the play here. He's going to deftly move on to B here. He has a rifle, 29 bullets in the mag. That's good enough to get a kill and then some. Will he check back sight here? Time is ticking. Bomb may blow up at any moment. <laughs> and he's just hiding behind this van. He doesn't check behind the van, though. He's checking up oh, in the rafters, no. and JBH gets the kill. And with that kill is going to be victory, but not going to quite escape the blast radius in time. Now we're looking at a scoreline of 12 to 8, Drexel University. Every round that goes by here, the, uh, the, the lead is slowly getting narrower and narrower. Saints, they're getting closer here. Drexel University forced to go for an eco round, in fact, which uh, I wasn't quite expecting to see anytime soon. I was expecting to already be on break when it, getting ready for game two, you know? <laughs> exactly. And, you know, here we are now. <laughs> Now with the Saints 12 to 8, Jackson University on an eco round, and the Saints are looking to confidently take this next round to bring things to 12 to 9. But still, even with a gun advantage, anything is possible with Drexel University. Anything is possible at Drexel University as the Zeus are moving up here. And wow, he gets some good damage, but JBH is just a little bit stronger on the side of firepower, taking him down with the AK. Gonna keep on moving on though. He's gonna move down this hallway, try and gain some ground for his team. And I wonder why they keep going B. It doesn't quite work out for them every time, but when it does work out, it's great.
It mm. seems like A is a little bit more consistent for them when they get the bomb down. I feel like they're just not confident in their long-range engagements. The only real long-range engagement you have when you're pushing B is that long hallway here in apartments, and it's a funnel. You know, their guy can only be looking at you from one spot, but mid, there's about like three different long-range spots the guy can be looking at. And oh, oh landing on his, on his head! It's not Mario, <laughs> my friend. That's not how you get kills in this game. It's gonna be a lot more gunshots fired before the saves are gonna come out of the chaos. Victorious, not even losing a single member of their team a timeout is gonna get called or I, yeah a timeout i believe is called or no okay the screen is no. gray <laughs> I, I, I but the screen always turns gray i gotta remember that <laughs> and the thing flashed up at the bottom there i thought it said that you know timeout button any oh, ha, ha. oh there, it is, there, it is. <laughs> there we go i'm right this is the first time in my life i'm excited to see a timeout because i almost look stupid which is unacceptable <laughs> But in any case, after this timeout, is going to be the Saints calling it? I feel like they want to make sure that they are aware of the fact that they honestly have a chance of still winning this game, but they don't want to let that rush get to their head. They want to make sure they still play disciplined and grounded and play by the book to take this game. Yeah, they're playing amazing. It's within... Uh, you can see it now that they only need three more rounds to even this one up. But those three rounds are going to be key. It's going to be very tough now that they mm -hmm. have these rifles in hands. They need to play this perfectly. You don't want to lose anybody here. You want to at least make sure if you're going to lose somebody, it's after they use all their util here. As they've heavily invested in everything they can, Molly's going to come out and they're going to run through the fire and the flames over on A. And now they're going to take these long range engagements. And it works out for them as RyCS gets one with JBH and now the smoke. They shoot through the smoke there. LF doesn't find anybody though. And Miggy and Ryze finds one. And Andy finds another. Beautiful. Oh, wait, is that a kill? No, that was a kill. He killed Rai. He oh, killed yeah, with the, with the fire. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to oh, get man. one. And now it's a 3v2. If that Molly wasn't there, the Saints would be in an even better spot. But nonetheless, they're still pretty good. They're defending Bomb with their lives here. Only two on the side of Drexel, and they need to move fast. It's going to be F pushing up on the ropes here, and he finds one from long range. He's going to scout it out, clear out the site for his team, and he finds JDH. Oh, okay. He gets found with a bullet in his head, but Byte gets one. It's a 1v1 situation. Drexel can't win it all here because there isn't enough time. The bomb is going to go off, and the Saints are going to go off as well. It's going to be 12 to 10, and the things, of the, the chances for the Saints are looking better and better by the second here. They are only two rounds away from taking us to an overtime, but that's two whole rounds that they need to play perfectly because even winning these rounds with a lot of deaths will make it basically impossible to pull a victory through because they have to commit everything every single time they won't have enough money to make things work otherwise if they lose 12 to 11 that's going to be a heartbreaking area you at least want to see it hit overtime mm -hmm. when you're so close but we'll see if they can make it there as drexel they're out for blood right now. They've been in this game longer than they bargained for. They got a nice trade there, but JBH is going to take him down. Does he know there's another pushing? And Fab gets a kill. And now he's going to be looking out for his teammate. Here's the cues. Oh, he gets no. it. And now the Saints are falling apart here. It's 2v4. Sure, they had the gun advantage, but Petro evens it up. 3v2. It's much, much more doable right now. Petro trying to clear out this A site. They're kind of in disarray. They don't have bomb, but Mickey finds the kill. Now, he just needs to grab this bomb. They should be in a decent position. Sure, time isn't really on their side after all this gunfighting. But their chances are better. I think they might... Green is in a really, really good spot yeah. right now. Because the Saints are actually going to be pushing up through Palace. And Reen is right outside on boxes with the Deagle aimed right at the Palace exit. It would be so devastating if the Saints will lose this game to this round. Because this is an eco round for Jexel. I think they only had one rifle on their side. The rest was like Deagles and maybe I think an MP9 they had as well. And the Saints were fully kitted. So... It would be devastating to lose this round here, but with where Reen is positioned, it would it's, it seems very likely because, again, 
holding that angle they know it's like they know exactly what's about to happen and what's about to happen is Miggy's probably gonna take a deagle shot right to the head and that's exactly what's gonna happen here Petro next up but he's gonna find that kill but Feb from Ticket is gonna take him down taking it 13 to 10 Drexel snatches victory from the jaws of defeat when uh you know with the eco round nonetheless or they snatch it from the jaws of overtime to be specific yeah they got it right before the clock struck 12 there, mm. just two away from overtime. And you got to hand it to them. They played very well for most of the match there, but just once the Saints got the ball rolling, they didn't really know what to do. Once the Saints had yeah. that confidence, the gun advantage, they played it very, very well. But just being behind ever since the beginning, the Saints were always just playing catch up throughout most of this match. And, you know, eventually you're going to run out of steam. Just, you can't, it's hard yeah. to win six rounds in a row, bring it all the way to overtime. But they very well almost did it. Almost being the key <laughs> word there. They did lose out in the last couple of rounds, but still an impressive game from both teams. So that's Mirage, the first game under our belts. I believe for the next map, we're going to be on Nuke. So as the teams get ready for the next exciting game in the series, we hope to see you there when the action kicks off. But we're going to throw it over to a quick break. Well, like I said, everything gets set up. So we'll see you all very soon. Take care.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're getting right <laughs> into the action here on Nuke. It's the first pistol round we're seeing on this side. Drexel University coming off of a victory in the previous game. Saints on T side, they're going to have to figure out how they want to lay out their offense against... Oh, actually, no, I believe it's... Yeah, they are going to be pushing up through here. It's going to be Andy holding down B site with... The Glock in hand, seeing what he can get done here. Rian's going to fall down, or Petro is going to be going down as well. Rye on the T side. Andy is going to take out Bite, and they're going to be fighting over B side, it seems, right now. The bomb is already down, and the Saints are going to have to fight to hold it. Rian coming out through Squeaky. Going to get caught Doesn't out know. by Andy, but going to get wow. the headshot cross map. And Rising in retaliation, going to put him down. The Saints are going to win this pistol round, and they're going to establish a dominant presence in this map to start things out. Yeah, wow. What patience, though, on the side of Drexel there to get the kill. Throw the kids just a nice 360. Yeah. <laughs> just scope it out, stays calm the entire time, still lands the shot. But, hey, the Saints just play a little bit better, better there in the end. And now they have the momentum here, maybe. This match is going to go in their favor this time. Going to buy a few rifles here, send out a few warning shots. And now they're going to cruise on through. Lots of smokes are coming out, lots of ordnance here. It's going to peek the corner, it doesn't get the kill. Gets dinked though and stays alive here. Uh-oh. It's going to peek through. He's very, very low. Someone swears that smoke, he's dead, but no one's going to check it. He, wow, he <laughs> just barely gets out. But Miggy gets a better reaction and he gets a kill out of it right now. Look over interior. None of the Saints have breached the interior right now. They're trying to. They're taking it slow and steady. It's going to be a Desert Eagle waiting for them, but Rai is ready for it. The 
taser. Fight is camping the corner of the taser here. Will he find a shocking Woo! conclusion? He gets one, but doesn't get the other. I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That was a situation where it kind of worked, kind of didn't. In any case, got the pick off that they were looking for, but not going to be able to win the round off of it. But, but speaking of winning things, if you want to catch out the Saints potentially winning their Call of Duty match, you can see it over if you hit exclamation mark streams. You'll be able to see the stream link in the chat where you can go ahead and watch that game. I believe the eSports uh the esports students from the esports program are going to be running the stream for that one. So go ahead and show them some support. But speaking of support, Saints are going to need some on the <laughs> Counter-Strike side of things as well as we're going into the next round. They want to keep this momentum going off of their first two round victories. Smokes lining up outside of mid, but JBH getting shot down, sprayed through those smokes. Going to have to retreat with just two HP. They're going to keep the offense going as they make their way over into B, and they're going to start infesting the zone like rats, looking for cheese. Yeah, but, but who's going to be the cat here who's going to eat up all these mice is the question here. 5v5, they're still alive halfway through the time in this round, just about. Nothing crazy has happened. Actually, Ryze going to be the first one to get the kill. Taking out the mice, he's going to be the exterminator crawling through the vents, looking for more little rascals here. And Feb is going to be a hold in the line through the wall from above. Let's move her to the chosen one. He's taking it slowly through these corners, going over to B. As you see, the vending machine is also over there. If you look at the signs, the signs are pointing to an explosive battle as Feb finds one. We can find another. The window there doesn't quite clear it. He's getting Ooh, shot from below. Petro. Finds one, finds two. There's only one more, but he can't find the last kill for his team there. But wow, the Saints are cleaning up right now. Only one more left on the side of Drexel. And the Saints... So close to getting it, but not quite. Going to lose Miggy. Andy, the last man standing. The smoke is all that's between him and the Chosen One. But the bullets come between them too. Not for long as they quickly find their way into Andy, taking Drexel's first round of this map. And the Chosen One certainly did look chosen there. Very lucky. <laughs> because... If you just sprayed that smoke... You know, mm -hmm. you always see... We have the x-ray vision, so mm -hmm. it's always hindsight is twenty twenty. Just spray that smoke, you get a kill. That's it. You went around, but... Spray that smoke, you also reveal your position to somebody. That's can true. It's a risk. It's you know. a risk. But <laughs> sometimes that risk pays off, as we can see some occasionally. But nonetheless, these people are the pros. Let's leave it to them. Patience is key as we see it off. And now we're going to see a Molly go out. It has a lot of chip damage, but it's not going to be a lot of kills. Woo! But a lot of kills. Like we're going from F here. Inspect the gun. Very proud. Doesn't get... A Kill? Does he get the kill? Oh, yes, right. the rest of the team does. And F playing very, very well. Yeah, an aficionado, <laughs> one could say, because just making that round short work of the Saints. And uh, sorry, this is just distracting me. They all have 19 ping. It's just perfect. All the Saints, perfect. 19 ping. In any case, <laughs> we're going to be heading into this next round here, just as the Saints are heading over to this next hard point on the Call of Duty side of things. But Mule Rider Esports, Southern Arkansas University, they are going to be getting it first, but with these flashes coming out in mid, the Saints are going to try to keep their eyes open and the eyes on the prize as well, but if you want to keep your eyes on that Call of Duty game again, hit exclamation mark streams and chat to follow along the action over there, but Reen is going to go taking down JBH, but followed up with the kill from Andy for revenge and the aficionado taking out Andy Miggy responding in that, getting a trade and things are going to be looking even now on the body count the saints are going to be three to three members left with drexel university and the saints are trying to inch their way into the nuclear power plant and they're going to do so successfully but not for long before the chosen one put some bullets in the back of rye they're going to be trying to enter through this uh garage door here but it's not going to go too well because they're going to just they smell something off there they they had a, their spidey senses tingling one of them was watching that doorway so they're going to opt to push over to A, maybe up through the ladder. But as they're going through Feb, over through that door and Adam is going to find Petro, put him down. He's going to pick up the bomb and try to make his way out, but Miggy is going to go down as he backed up. Going to be another round for Drexel, and now they're going to be leading things in this series. Yeah, the Saints were off to a good start, but Drexel quickly caught up. It's a little bit of a reversal of the last 
map. The Saints, of course, I think were losing four nothing, and then they began to win a couple of rounds. But mm -hmm. now three to two, they're in a little bit better of a spot. But I'm just afraid for when Drexel gets their momentum going, because when they are the leaders, it is a terrifying sight to behold. As we see Feb leading the charge here, they're being very, very confident, using a lot of nades here to just clear out that corner. Delay the Saints push by any means necessary. And they're going to take it low and slow right now. They don't want to overly commit too much. They have the range advantage right now, and they're going to use it. They're going to try using it to their advantage as much as possible here, but trying to get into the lobby, Rai recognizing how dangerous this play is with only Deagle in hand, that rifleman watching him on the other side of that doorway, eager, he's licking his chops, he wants him to push up, Ooh. and he's going to do so, but the Chosen one taking the Chosen two, now the Chosen three, JBH is going to go down, Petro is going to find F as he peeks through lobby, finds his way onto A, but he's going to get put down very quickly with Chosen one getting a 4k that round. The Chosen four have been taken, yeah, and now four rounds, four kills, four lat rounds, he must be the Chosen one, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see if he remains chosen going forward the saints they might have what it takes to take him down mm -hmm. i think I think, I think they have good. full loss bonus right now as well. Saints, yep. So they do full buy here. They're going to make the most of that loss bonus because even if they lose it, they're going to have a lot of money to work with in the next one. But they obviously don't want to lose any more rounds than they already have. You know, it's they, they started things off going 0-2, but now they're going four in a row without finding anything. But Bite is going to be taking down two. But JBH finding Reen in response. Now Miggy was going to go for a smoke. Deciding to just rotate back over, but there is a counter-terrorist holding off that entry through the other side of the map. So they're not going to be able to hold it very well, but F is going to take down JBH, a straggler through mid. And they're going to be rotating back through the lobby, maybe through the left. They're going to go for the ramp to try to get their way into B site. Yeah, that's going to be the play most likely. They don't want to go through A, but Bite is holding it down. He's going to find Petro and going to drop down, recognizing that there's more most likely coming. He's going to immediately just split his way off and go into B. He has the frag grenade in hand, so as soon as he hears some motion, he might try to find something here, but Miggy is going to catch the rotation from the Chosen One. Wasn't expecting to see a Terrace over there, so he's going to go down for it, but now he's going to just be playing for picks. Going to make sure that anybody trying to get their way back over to here is going to pay for it dearly, but Bite holding down this site, watching both doors. In fact, I think that was a pre-fire. Was that just a, a decal in effect? But, oh, oh wow, right! Insane. Nothing about that was... Uh, fabricated a very well played shot over there that's going to open up b site for them f now having to take the initiative and chase down the saints over on b the door smoke permeating through it is magic smoke whether or not he's going to go for it it's going to be to be decided here on squeak he's going to be pushing up going to spray it down revealing his position and trying to close the door maybe but molly is going to go down completely forcing him off going to buy some more time for the saints even if they both go down here they just want to buy as much time as possible so the defuse can't come out but not even gonna have to worry about that as Miggy's is going to get that shot down and take the round for the saints ending their loss streak yeah, they ended the loss streak and they got a win so by all means, they should be in a good spot here to even up the rounds. Drexel now going to invest everything they got in this round to try to reclaim their spot as the top dogs here. Going to even invest in an op and try and play these long ranges and hold these close angles here. It's going to be very dicey for the Saints going forward. They can't play with as much confidence as they could before because... Now they're contending with an op. Wow, that was a close shot there, but he manages to get squeezed right down the vent just in time. Smoke is going to be up. The Chosen One is bringing it down, holding down this doorway as we have two fires going outside right now. But nothing's going to come of that as we go back over to the Chosen One. Being very deliberate, being very, very patient here, waiting for this door to be pushed. F can find one, though. F, hopefully going to be able to find some more. You can't spell four without F, but you can't spell it without the E uh, in F's name. In any case, the Saints are going to be making their way over to B. 
going to try to get over to that ramp once more. Thankfully, this time, Bite's not going to be there, ready to sink his teeth into them. Going to be able to get out of the control room, over to the ramp. Molly is going to go off just for security, and they're going to be able to find their way over to it. But two over on the side of Bombsite B from the counter-terror side of things. Drexel University holding it down, and Fab going to find the long-range shot, putting down Rai, but JBH is going to pick him up. JB, uh, JBH is also going to find F as well. It's just going to be 3v3 now. Bomb planted on B. Plenty of time to work with here for Drexel University, but whether or not they're going to be able to make the most of it is yet to be seen. They're pouring through tunnels, but Petro sending the Chosen One flying into the wall with those gunshots, and the last man standing, Reen, is going to get put down as well. 4v4 on the point side of thing. Now the teams are starting to trade things out a bit. It's going to be a little bit closer each round now. Yeah, now it's all evened up. It's up to Drexel to try and get a win streak going once again. As you saw, they got four in a row. Saints winning two and then two. That's why we're here four before. I'm just wondering if the Saints will be able to get a win streak going because I don't think we've seen a long win streak from them aside from the last match where they had mm -hmm. their backs up against the wall and they kind of had to. Right. We haven't seen them take the lead position yet. And I'm excited to see if they're going to do that here. It's the divisive round. It looks like it's a pistol round for Drexel. He's probably going to go over the Saints, but he does some nice damage with that Glock, nonetheless. We go back over to the Chosen One. He's holding this close, close corner. And, ooh, the Taser once again. That's going to be a nasty corner. You don't want to pass by that one. It is, it is quite the astute <laughs> observation you made that the Saints have, haven't really gone on any of these hot streaks except for, of course, that one time where they had no choice but to. I think that kind of indicates the difference between these two teams here. Like the side of Drexel University, they're able to ride the momentum very well and make the most out of, you know, the positive situations they're forcing. But I feel like the Saints are always trying to, I feel like they're playing Jenga and their tower is always about to fall, you know. You're playing uh, nervous. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you're not you're not really ever comfortable here. And uh, Andy, though, might be putting my words to rest as they're going to make things look a little bit easy over the side of the Saints. going to get two, but losing one in response. The Saints are making a path over to B. JBH spotted out here. N not sure how that exchange is going to go, but now we know for sure JBH was able to find Bite with the headshot, and the Saints are going to take another round. Yeah, they do take another round, but as you were saying, they kind of lack a little bit of confidence when they're when they're in the winning position. Mm -hmm. it seems like when their backs up against the wall, they play with that with reckless abandon. They don't care what happens. They just want to get these kills. They want to get the win, and they haven't a choice. Yeah, they have no choice, and they use that very very well. They use that incur that motivation very well. <laughs> but once they're in the winning position, they're scared to lose it. They don't want to let. They, it feels like they have something to lose now. They have something they need to protect. They play a little bit too slowly, but wow. I stand corrected as Andy gets a very clean kill to start things off. <laughs> very clean indeed, and it's going to make the round for Drexel a little bit messy. Rai in the smoke for control room, trying to get out into the open here, find their way over to ramp, but they left the bomb behind on the stage. They want to commit too hard to anything. I'm not sure if any of them are outside still, but we have enough inside for it to matter for the side of Drexel University. They have to play carefully. Andy already infiltrating over onto to be no bomb in hand though one of them is finally able to pick it up and i think they're going to commit for something now going to try pushing most likely over to b i feel like that might be where the saints have more control but feb is going to be trying to put a monkey wrench in their plans just to slow things up and make a mess of it but petro finding f from behind reen is going to find petro but miggy with a very clean shot onto reen machine taking him down Mollying out heaven, taking it over, but the chosen one is going to take down Mickey before he's able to find the kill onto him. Not going to be getting out of that scot free though, with 45 HP in his pocket. But Rai, ooh, ooh, didn't reload, so had to switch to the pistol there. It was going to give Rai enough time to put him down, and they're going to get the plant off of that. But in heaven, Feb is going to be the angel of death, taking out Rai. Feb is going wow. to go down JBH with the AK. Deadly indeed, and it's going to be another round for the Saints. Yeah, clipped his little angel wings there. Looked very <laughs> scary, but he just narrowly evaded evaded death itself. And now Saints have gotten a nice win streak of their own. They're looking to keep that. I stand corrected about what I said. They're not playing with confidence. Seems like going into this game, they're playing with a lot more confidence here. Mm-hmm. 
And that's what you really need in confidence or uh, in, in Counter Strike, especially on uh, especially on Nuke. I feel it, it, it can be very scary. In fact, it's a little bit of a horror game playing on this map for me. <laughs> there's a lot of jump scare angles and corners, and it feels like there's always someone on your back. It's it's a nerve wracking experience. So being able to do so confidently is definitely a boon to your success. But Trying to push into A site now, maybe through garage as well, through lobby, but you're gonna go down for it. Andy is gonna get put down. Rai gonna get revenge for him though. The chosen one's gonna go down, but peeking over Rian almost taking out JBH from that corner, but thankfully Miggy was there to put a stop to the attacker. Now F over on the box from outside, almost spotted out a rotation from the Saints, but Going back around the corner a little bit too late. In fact, I'm taking even some damage for it, but Feb taking out Rai with the Deagle in the meantime. It's not completely impossible for Drexel, but now it just might be, or actually, no, gonna be able to trade at the same time, one for one. It's a 1v1 now, and Feb is gonna make that 1v0, taking Drexel their next round in the series. Yeah, they take another round, a much needed round as well, as they have been on a loss streak. No. They have some nice money in their hands. They're going to buy an op. They're going to buy the whole kit and caboodle right now and try and make this a 6-6 six, six half. And while it did seem like very Saints dominance going forward, it's really not that much of a gap they need to close here. They win it here. It's six hits. If they don't, 5-7 still not too bad if they win pistol. So going forward... This is a very good round for Drexel. They find one, almost finds two, but gets taken down. Gets one very, very low. Very low indeed. It's going to be a struggle now for the side of either of these teams. You know, both of them losing key members of their squad. It's going to be a big hit to that confidence that we were talking about. But the Saints going to be able to regain it. Regain it being able to... Oh, they're going to be trading guns. But at the worst possible time, as F is going to be pushing up at the perfect opportunity to get all three of them. Well, actually just two. <laughs> but now we're going to get all three with that nade unsuspectingly taking out Petra, who is already so low. And that's going to be be a uh, reversal of my words. I was about to say the Saints are going to be very, very comfortable getting the plant so early in this round, but it's going to be immediately shut down by the side of Drexel University. And now we're tied up once again, 6-6 six, six in this second map. Wow. That was a round <laughs> of witness. Glad so I witnessed many, it. Those, those grenade, that grenade was just so comedically timed, you know? That's what I love about <laughs> CS. You saw, it was like almost like a Looney Tunes cartoon. You saw the grenade what bounce, you could see the, yeah! the point click Wee. in his head. Where it was like, oh, no. <laughs> like a Wally Coyote running off a cliff, you know? He has enough time to hold up the sign exactly. before he falls. And uh, it felt like exactly his, his what happened there. was perfectly timed. <laughs> no. It's perfectly <laughs> even going into this half. It's 6-6. Six, six. It's pistol. Hopefully the Saints can win this pistol as well because they're going to sorely need it with how even this game is looking to be. Yeah, anybody here will be happy to take any kind of lead, any kind of advantage. But again, obviously both of the teams are not going to want to give it up. It's going to be the pistol around the reset. Both teams are going to be switching sides here. Petro finding two clean headshots to start things off. Drexel going to be feeling some pain now. The Chosen One coming around, getting over to B side. The Chosen One in a skirmish with Rai. Going to end up coming out on top this time around. JBH now gunning for revenge. Gonna find some with the dual Berettas. Now coming out of the corner that rate of fire is gonna be so handy but maybe not so in the accuracy department as Bite representing the antithesis of the dual Berettas uh, you know, philosophy of quantity over quality of shots. But it's gonna be a little bit of a mind game now. Shooting out that window to make Andy question where he is but he's not gonna fall for it. Gonna get that head shot and gonna take the first round in the second half for map two for Saints. Great pistol round for the Saints, and they're in a great position right now. If they can try and turn this into a big lead, they can maybe even ride this all the way out to the end. Sure, it's going to be tough, but with how they've been playing, I don't think it's out of the question here. Drexel just going to go for a full save. I mean, why not? I think they bought a few guns here and there, but nothing that's going to win them this round. 
I mean, if that's not going to win in the round, then nothing will. But the Saints, they're going to be in a pretty good position to win this round. A lot of deagles in the hand of Jackson University. On a map like Nuke, that really can get some work done, but you're kind of pigeonholed into playing in specific sections of the map, you know, like outside and like maybe even uh, pushing up through the garage door into a site. But it may even be as well. In fact, never mind. They're not pigeonholed that much at all. It's very favorable playing with the deagles, just like Feb is going to show me getting a kill. And another one now on JBH. These rifles are not being too handy for the Saints, but going to be able to get some kills in response. It's going to be 3v2 now. Saints losing more than they wish they would have, but they're going to still be doing their best to make the most of it. Pushing out now. Petro is going to be fearing the pressure coming up from Bayez. Just hold your ground, but his crosshair placed a little too high. Going to lose his life for it. Bite going to be pressing the offense onward they're making their way through the tunnels the rat tunnels finding their way over to b side and they smell like i said that cheese it's so sweet well cheese isn't sweet but for a rat in the metaphorical sense finding a lot of cheese is a sweet experience euphoria one may say i don't know a lot about what goes on in the mind of the rat so i'm gonna he trust you enough. on that but here we are He's looking to go through this window. He's going to clear out this site. He's going to play very, very slowly, very carefully. Like a mouse F. He's going to creep on forward towards a B. And they're going to lay the cheese down in the trap here. And try and lure the Saints down. And get them with this M4. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. He's waiting on the stairs. Another grenade is going to come out from Mickey. That's going to be a smoke coming out. He's going to try and clear the site. Actually, yeah, he almost gets one from behind that reactor, but he doesn't quite get it. And that's going to be the round going over to Drexel. 7-7. Seven, seven. They're really looking to make this game close for us here. You know, the Saints are not going to be able to roll over Drexel University, like we said. Like I said before, and like you said before that, the Saints are really having to fight tooth and nail for every round over Drexel University. They're never really going on these tears like Drexel has so far but speaking of tears the Saints on a tear in the series so far winning their first game I believe and uh, they're gonna lose this second round here <laughs> on search and destroy but if you want to know exactly what's going on in all of this action over on tonight's game then you can always hit exclamation mark streams in the chat and you can follow the series along but as we head back into the action for Counter-Strike we can watch through as Petro gets put down by the chosen one AK in hand Saints on the budget round but they want to make those dollars go a long way but this nade is going to put a stop to it potentially no just out of the range it seems maybe behind a wall or two is going to be able to survive but Andy is going to go down eventually bite descending from the rooftops putting him down like Batman descending upon a criminal and, you know, just martial artsing him into unconsciousness. <laughs> and it's going to be a very difficult round to recover for the Saints, but it's still possible, like we always say. That's what we always say here. It's always possible. Never leave any room for <laughs> lack of hope. We are going to get the plant down over on A. Yeah. And that it means 40 seconds until the Saints lose, unless can scramble something together here we have a silence pistol we have a submachine gun but is that enough to go up against a fully armed drexel university that is the question and that question will be answered as soon as we turn this corner actually chosen one's gonna answer that for us before we even get in the building gets a nice wall bang headshot and now it looks like jbh is out here for revenge he wants to take down the man who took his friend out but he's gonna get taken down as well as drexel now takes the lead seven to eight Seven two eight sounds like a very nice area code. Not sure where it would be, but you know, it's probably warm. I think somewhere around Drexel is where I would uh, guess. You know, if you're correct on that, I will believe <laughs> that you know you might have some kind of shape shifting, mind bending powers because that would be the most insane coincidence of all time. But in any case, coincidence is has no place in Counter Strike as every action that's been taken so far has been deliberate, intentional, and planned, including. This engagement outside the Chosen One doing a good chunk of damage over onto Andy, but not going to be able enough to put him down. Frag grenades are flying. Everyone is scared and nervous, but F is going to be able to 
find a bunch. In fact, a lot of kills are going to be exchanged over there. Even some friendly fire coming out. It was just complete spray mayhem. And as a result, the safe's just left with Andy, and he seems to be traumatized by all the action. Just sit in this corner, holding his gun, waiting for this round to end. Please pick me up. I want to go home. He doesn't want to be in this round anymore. Drexel with the bomb, going to find their way over to A site, and he's going to have to respond to it somehow. It's all up to him to respond here. It's a 1v2 situation. The Saints really want to win this one. He Woo! finds one. It's possible now. If he just moves quickly, he has 20 HP. He needs to be very, very careful. Bomb is down. He could get the defuse, but he's going to need to take down the Reen machine, and he's going to do it, and Andy finds the clutch out of nowhere. And that's going to be a nice round for the Saints. This is going to be 8-8. Eight to eight. I even think we might have an overtime on our hands. A lot of action back and forth. They're really trading and just making each other work for every single inch they pull through here and nobody's been able to take a mile off of any of them so far and keeping this gap between the two of them nice and narrow nobody's going to be running away with this series but with that in mind as we're heading to this next round it's a full buy for both teams and not a lot left in the pockets of either of them so i feel like we're going to have a paradigm shift coming up in the next one as whoever wins this one will be in a very good spot for the one following up but still it will it will most likely be a fair victory if you know the history trends remain true and these teams continue to make a lot of things go the unexpected route as all of outside is smoked off petro all he can do is guess where Drexel university is going to be playing next yeah it's the calm before the storm right now and he's right in the thunderhead right now <laughs> the smokes and wow two kills get traded here it's a war of attrition and another kill goes over to miggy saints have the life lead but i have a feeling that's not going to last very long or i could be wrong as he finds another kill as the smoke goes down, Petro finds one. Now they have A secured, and they can try and delay this plant for as long as possible. They're up against an op and an AK. Never mind, they're up against an AK as Andy wins the op duel. I mean, I can't say I'm surprised. I always say if Andy has an op, it's going to be a success for the Saints. But now, as Drexel University with just one member left, it's going to be a scramble for any kind of opening, any kind of success. But... You know, with four members of St. Clair College watching your every move or at least listening for it, it's going to be difficult, but he's going to be able to at least triumph over one of them, triumph over two of them now, finding JBH on site and an opening to get the plant. He's going to fake it, see if anybody comes around those corners or even from heaven. He's going to fake the plant, try to get a rotation maybe. He could, no, he doesn't have enough time to go over to B. He's going to get the smoke down and surviving the uh, very low odds, but eventually they're going to catch up to him and take him down a very uh, magical, whimsical <laughs> round there at the end, but not going to go his way. A round full of whimsy indeed. And sprinkles and sparkles. Sprinkles, sparkles, rainbows, and more. But let's see what other fun we have in store going <laughs> into the next round. <laughs> We're here. Let's see if Drexel can answer once again. Bring us to 9 to 9. They invested in a singular... Wait, no, that's Saint... Yeah. No, that's Drexel investing in a singular yeah. op. That's uh no Saints are gonna invest in the op. Uh Jax is gonna invest in a scout, the bootleg. Oh yes, op. yes. My <laughs> vision's bad. I need new glasses. No, for sure. You know, an understandable <laughs> mistake. But in any case, trying to hold down Squeaky. I, I called every door so far Squeaky. I'm not sure which one is Squeaky. I think it's that one. But in any case, uh with that scout, you're gonna be a little bit more mobile, but it's not gonna help you out too much. They're gonna miss those shots, but Rye finding Feb with the MP9, the aggression factor that gun brings is unrivaled allowing you to just run down confidently knowing that if you go down you spent pennies on a gun that could allow you to take down an entire team <laughs> so that confidence <laughs> that you get is unrivaled but now with f holding that scout seeing if you can find anybody long range but petro gonna take him down kind of caught him out on unsuspectingly there but reen with that tech nine and last teammate on the side drexel with the deagle say it's fully kitted with all five members it's gonna look to be a victory for them i really don't see any universe in which drexel university wins this one 
They have a lot of work cut up from sure he has a deagle, but that's not going to help him. And there it is. There's the second kill. Flawless nice victory. flick from JBH. Flawless victory. Took Mine was really right bad. Let me try again. Flawless victory. That was a little Flawless better. Flawless victory. Mortal Kombat. Sorry, we're going to get into this next round here. 10-8, to eight, the Saints feeling confident, feeling happy, feeling joyous, perhaps, and especially since jubilant. they're jubilates or um, shambolic, perhaps. Maybe even exuberant, but we have even more words we could describe it going into this next round. <laughs> and uh, one, uh, one word I will say is rich. The Saints are, even if they lose this one, they're going to be feeling fine. Their pockets are full, so it's going to be all the pressure on Jackson University to deliver here because they have have a guaranteed money back policy and they don't have enough money in the bank to get any refunds so they have to make sure that they get this delivery and get it done but petro is going to be putting like spike traps in the road of this <laughs> delivery van and making sure it's going to be damn near impossible now Drexel university just with three members left saints still holding on to every single agent they had in that previous round oh well they just lost one one veteran gone from that previous victory but jbh if he's just oh he sees one peeking over bite is spotted hopping into the vent he's going to be playing with that information in mind as rye finds one more and another teammate of the saints finding another it's just bite going to be going down to the vent it's 11 to 8 saints are looking very hot in this victory so far and they're going on their first a little bit of a hot streak yeah i would say this is the first hot streak where they've been in the lead and they are using it very very well 11 to 8 just two more rounds really i don't want to jinx it but it's looking like this is going to be a Saints win here. We're going to be going to game three. Well, he might not want to jinx it, but I think he just did. Uh, you, you know, you broke rule number one. You never say that a team has won until they won. Uh, Drexel University now going to be playing with the fire of a thousand suns and exactly 12 nuclear reactors burning at the same time simultaneously. So Drexel University, they, well, you know what, they are going to lose that. Maybe the Castle Curse isn't that powerful, but in any case, with that op and every rifle in hand for the side of the Saints, they're going to be able to hold down the push that was going on to be at a very very blitz-like victory over on this 12th or uh, 12th round of victory for the Saints, and they are just one away from victory here. Drexel University has just enough for a full buy for everybody, but while well, they're not going to be able to pull through, we're going to have to see. And there's no way Drexel could do what the Saints did to them. They can't win six rounds in a row, bring this to overtime. No way that's going to happen. The Saints are going to win this right here. That's my prediction. They're on a hot streak. They have the momentum. They're warmed up, and they're raring to go. So I'll see you guys in uh, overtime, as uh, <laughs> Matthias is just guaranteed we're going to be going to that. But Andy, ooh, ooh. finding the hand of the chosen one, putting him down. You're not going to be able to pull Excalibur from the stone this time, buddy. At least if you're going to use your teeth, that's your only option. It's not going to go well for you with that op still in hand. Oh, he's going to miss that second shot. Rian is going to put him down. You think that Andy would have named his op or something by now, but it seems like his best weapon. But just a plain op, no skin, nothing. I like that. Noble, humble. In any case... Going to be just a 4v4, but the Saints, they have, are, they're holding a lot of really decent angles. Drexel University, they're going to have to use nades very well, as well as just overall coordination and timing to pull through anything victorious here. But they're going to have to try regardless whether or not it's favorable for them. They have to push eventually, and that's what exactly we're going to do. Bite's going to take down JBH, but Miggy going to find them as they're pushing through that smoke. Just one member of Drexel left, and now there's none. Petro is going to take out the last member of Drexel University, and that's going to be map two for the Saints as they take out Nuke. Drexel University fought hard. They fought long, but they didn't fight well enough to overcome the Saints' pressure on this map. Very close first half, but once we got into that second half, the Saints on CT side just blew it out of the water mm -hmm. there. They were in control the entire time. Sure, a few rounds here and there went over to Drexel. Oh, but now we're going to game three. And speaking of close games, it's five four, four here. First to six, I believe, for Search and Destroy. Siri going to be leading the charge with the bomb in hand. They're going to be trying to push over to B, it seems, with the rotation. GMG getting a good bit of damage off over on the other side of the map. So Zin now roaming through the market, seeing if they can catch any rotations coming out. 
a lot of damage is going to be exchanged. Oh, wow, all, the, all these grazing shots, but finally, a death is going to go out. Faction is going to be the first to fall. Second now, Zarin going to get taken lethally out by lethal. It's just going to be two saints left. GMG going to be the third to fall. Now it's just Siri with the bomb. If he can find his way over to the site or even just get pickoffs, that's his only opportunity left. But I know if anyone's capable of this, it would be Siri. Shown time and time again, the immaculate skill he has in this game is not to be trifled with. So it might, it is, it might be a 1v4, but it could very easily sway as we see. It's a 1v3 now, and that could keep progressing until it's a 1v1 to a 1v0. But with only 30 seconds left, he's going to either have to get all the kills on the map, or he's going to have to find a site and plant safely. But it looks like they've sent out a manhunt party to see if they can find the illustrious elusive Siri. He's evaded them for now, and he's actually going to be able to find his way over to A site. Whether or not he's going to be able to recognize it's safe to plant, we're going to have to find out. But they're going to start shooting at him. He's going to hop up. He's going to find almost, finds one there. And that really would have been scary because if he found that one, that second one was almost guaranteed as he had the jump on him. But going to ultimately fall. Now we're tied at four. Well, not tied up. Breaking the tie. <laughs> four to five. Don't laugh it's at me. It's close. It's close. It's <laughs> almost the tie. It's up to the Saints to tie it here. Indeed. And, uh, yeah, the Saints have to put everything into this next round or risk losing it all. Yeah, the rope is in their hands. They just have to tie the knot and tie this game up. Ooh. Interesting, we're going from a CS to search and destroy to very similar games. They're mm -hmm. so much different. God is so much more faster paced. You're just running down, a lot of sliding, a lot of parkour. And we'll see who can hardcore parkour their way to victory here. Watch out. As we're here on GMG up on this truck, he sees oh. ahead and he gets a nice shot. And that's going to be bombed down as well. That's a big pick. And luckily, Mbuzi there gets his teammates package there and runs it all the way over to deliver it over to A. Oh, finding a body running through onto A. That's information for Mule Rider, though. Uh, the Mule Rider esports side of things, they, they recognize that they have eyes over on A. And, you know, getting shot in Call of Duty doesn't matter too much as long as you don't die. You'll recover eventually. So, gonna take that in stride and just use that to their advantage now. Siri, again, just soaking up his HP back to 150. Zarin finding a straggler. Lethal was not paying attention. Caught with their pants down. Bomb's going to go down as well with just one member left. Sozin going to be fighting off the force of all three Saints. But Siri uh, rotating around that corner, I believe. No, that was Factions going to take down the last member of Southern Arkansas University. Now we're tied up 5-2-5. Five five. Just one more round to decide this hard-fought battle. Who's going to take the... So coveted points. Yeah, you don't want to be uh, up against series winning point if you're Mule Rider. They want to give it their all. And following the rhythm of just the few rounds we have seen, this is looking to go over to Mule Rider. If we're just going back and forth here, trading rounds, Mule Rider is looking to win this one here. But I have a feeling the Saints aren't going to very well let them. They're going to give up a good fight here. As we see Sozin just holding this A site, getting it very, very close to the where they need to plant the bomb. And ooh, a nice first pick goes over to St. Clair College, taking on Boozy there. Now we're still looking for the site. GMG going crazy though. Gets a nice 2K here to start the round. And Lethal takes out Zarin, unfortunately, has the high ground advantage. As we move over to Sozin, he is on the hunt right now. Bomb is planted over on B though. And we're going to see the Hounds come try and defuse it here. The Mule Rider Esports need to try and get some kills. They need to get into position here. But there's no really good safe spot for them to push. But Lethal takes out Siri out on the site. Now it's opened up quite a bit. But with only 20 or so seconds left. It's a 2v2 situation. It's looking very dicey. Ooh. That's 1v2 for Lethal. Lethal is the last one alive on the side of Mule Riders. He needs to win this one for his team. Just one point away Ooh. from winning it all, but the Saints take it anyways. And now it is 2 nothing in the series. Saints are looking to be on series point going into the next game. 
Yeah, the Saints, it was a hard-fought battle, but they do triumph in the end, much like our Counter-Strike team, you know. I'm seeing some similarities here in the spirit of both of these squads, but that makes sense. You know, all Academy, we uh, we fight together, we struggle together, we have the same spirit, the same soul. So these teams putting in so much effort to come out on top in these games, but so far, so good. I believe our Call of Duty team 2-0 so far, and our CS team tied 1-1 with their opponents. So this next game, could be the well is going to be the last one for counter-strike but could be the last one for call of duty as well so we're gonna have to wait and see who's going to come out on top in both of these series but before we send it to a quick break while we're getting ready to get into these next games with eyes how are you feeling about these series so far i am just so dang excited i love watching some good fps Ooh. action it's always so fun it's so high energy there's never a dull moment maybe in cs when you're in a corner camping but i resent it's, that it's more psychological than Call of yeah. Duty. It's a little bit more... Of a horror game. Of a <laughs> horror game, right? It's the suspense, <laughs> right? Some might, people might find it boring, but I find it so exciting. But with all that said, we're going to throw it to a quick break, and we're going to keep you in suspense for the next game. Welcome back, everybody, to our final CS2 game. Here we are, St. Clair, starting off with a loss. Unfortunately, coming off of a win last game, that's got to hurt. They lose Pistol, but that's just Pistol. They could maybe bring this one back here. Hopefully, the Saints have the positivity, the positive energy in their minds uh, to 
triumph over the negative energy overcoming them from Drexel University. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that bit, but as we get into this final game of Overpass, I know the Saints basically come to this map every single series at least once. So hopefully they're going to have the mastery of this map under their belt to allow them to play with a little bit more confidence and gusto. And speaking of, they're going to be pushing up fully through Upper Park, but they're going to be getting pushed back just equally as hard with a lot of rifles on the side of Jackson University, but they are able to find a good amount of kills in response. JBH accidentally killing one of his teammates, but it happens sometimes, unfortunately. The Chosen One making his way up through Upper Park with the MAC-10 in hand, seeing if he can catch the Saints from behind with the bomb carrier already on B and getting ready to plant. Seems like the Saints were just playing for picks, but maybe playing a little too hard for them. Yeah, it might be a little bit too tough for them. Sure, they can maybe even the lives out with a nice kill like that. It's going to be rough as F gets a nice double there to ending the round. Two kills, two rounds. This is Three hearts. Right? <laughs> Three hearts left for St. Clair College. Four Wrestle. spirits. Four spirits? <laughs> <laughs> in any case, now, the Saints full buying. They have, again, no choice. But five warriors. To, five? Why did you look at me like that? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm connecting this numerology. It's all lining up. It's all lining up for the Saints to take around here as they descend into the basements here. They're going to have to try and fight the monster in the basement, which is Drexel. And it gets taken out on the stairs. A nice kill from Miggy. Two kills from Miggy. And he's going to get out, Scott free the boys in the side of st Clair college they're going to be doing good work making sure that they can maintain their composure not let anything get to their heads especially not bullets because those will <laughs> really mess up your day it's really sting yeah it'll make you go bye-bye and you don't want to go bye-bye when there's so much work to do you know holding down lower park for example and mid through terminal you don't want to let anybody get through a flash comes out that's going to give reen machine the confidence to push up thankfully that flash affected quite literally nothing but still re machine able to find miggy through connector gonna come back up though through mid seeing if they can find anybody trying to make any cheek rotations but rise gonna spot out bite that's gonna be the last thing he sees though is that's <laughs> going to get killed in the sewers quite the way to go out and uh the smoke is gonna come out to section off concrete as they push up but speaking of andy finding reen as they kind of confront each other right up close and personal but picking up the ak so they have to reload but fab is gonna come around that corner put him down it's 2v1 for Drex and they have to find the bomb, plant it, and survive until it detonates. It's going to be uh, easier said than done, but can it be done? Yeah, 20 seconds left on the clock. It's all down to Feb. We've seen him do crazier things with the Saints on the prowl. It's going to be tough. I would hope the Saints, though, would be looking in two different directions, covering their back. They're both looking in the same direction. Now they have a nice little cross guard, and that's going to be Ooh. Saints taking their first round. And they are back. They, you know, they, they learn from their mistakes in those previous routes. And speaking of, every time something immaculate happens, we can hear this. I can, or at least I can hear the shouting from both of these. Those, the Call of Duty team is playing on the stage alongside the Counter-Strike team. So a lot of shouting going on as both of these teams are finding their stride in both of their series. Call of Duty game also going at the same time. If you want to catch that action while they're getting ready to head into their third game, you can always hit exclamation mark streams in the chat to follow along the action as we're going through now into this fourth round on Counter-Strike. The nade usage from the Saints hopefully going to find the mileage that they're looking for. The MP9 aggression is unparalleled. Will Riot be able to find anything with it? Miggy going to find the chosen one in the basement. Riot just, you know, tempering his aggression here just a little bit. JBH with an impressive 1 ADR. Not sure how you managed to pull that off, but hopefully it's going to increase a little bit after this round. It's definitely going to increase as he gets a kill as Feb tries to get an entry frag. Not going to go his way, but Smoke's going to come down. Rai with the MP9 in hand. Going to push through, finding one. Now two. The fire is going to make things a little bit harder for Drexel University. He had no choice but to push up and out and ultimately fall down. Now we're 2-2 in this game three. Two to two, all evened up now. Drexel really wants to gain this lead back. It seems like the Saints are steadily getting better and better each game that goes on. So I'm really excited to see their skill cap here. How high will they fly? That is the question. 
And will they fly too high? Will they be Icarus and melt their wings? There's so many questions, and there's so many answers. We shall see one of these answers going into this next round. And ooh, a missed op shot on the side of Drexel has to sting. And now we spray him down. Chosen one finds one. Will he find another? Through the smoke like two ships passing in the night. They don't see each other. And they just barely miss each other. Now... He's going to be able to creep all the way onto B site here. This is going to be Feb holding strong for his team. Rice, yes, getting a kill, but it's one getting right back. And then once again, Andy gets one right back. It's tit for tat all the way down. It's a 2v3 situation. Drexel, only two players left. Saints really have to try and make the best of this. And Rice, yes, almost goes down to Feb. Feb just barely flubbing that kill. That was such a key kill you needed to get, especially mm -hmm. with the clock running out. You need any advantage before you go for these scrappy plays. Indeed. Now, with F holding the bomb, it's basically like it's your second life. You know, it's everything to you if you're on Drexel University, and it's going to be powering him with the bomb in the hands of F, finding their way over to A. Going to spell out a word here, F-A, but will it end in... I'm trying to find a letter here that would be positive for Drexel and University. Fan. fan. They're going to get fan some fans after here, you know. <laughs> some victory for this team. And they're going to get the plant going off. Now with Andy coming up here, Nade is going to deter him a little bit. And he's ultimately going to fall. And that's going to be around for Drexel University. And I'm a fan of that, I bet. If you're a fan of Drexel, you're going to be happy. It's two to three. And if you're a Saints fan, you're going to be a little bit unhappy with how things are going right now. Sure, they won two rounds. Sure, they were in a good position. And yes, they do have a little bit more money, but mm -hmm. you really don't want to be down any rounds with how close these matches are going. Nonetheless, we're going to go back over to Drexel's point of view. They're going to make a mad dash over to Park, I believe. No, they're going to go down into tunnels and reach that connector area. Try and get a nice mid control. Oh, a nice flick from Chosen One. Gets two, and he gets taken out by Petro, who gets two right back. And once again, this is how even these games are going. It's 3v3, only 30 seconds in. Wow. And with all of that momentum coming out from that side. Andy is going to be the next victor to find a victim here. Oh, the spray is not going to be quite placed perfectly. Going to come around that corner to find Reen with the pistol to end things off. Now with the molly in play, just smoking out anybody that might still be in terminal, but F is going to be in connector, finding their way over to B site, but you have to be careful. It's never safe in this area, especially when you're the only member left on your team. He has that bomb. 50 seconds left. If you can get the plant, it would be huge, even just for the little bit of extra money. And you'll take anything you can get so far, as it looks to be likely that they're going to be taking a loss here. In fact, it might be even just to play a save. Not quite sure. Obviously, they don't know that all the states are over on A, so the confidence to get the plants off is it's quite a daunting thing to try to go for you have to check every corner every angle make sure that nobody's there to watch you but nobody is nobody is can you go for that plant does he go for it you have to act with a little bit more confidence and i think we're gonna see it come out in droves here as time is taking only 10 more seconds left he starts the plant and i think the saints are gonna hear that cue and he's gonna be wishing he started that plant a little sooner because he only has three seconds left and the bullets are coming he finds one doesn't find the other and the saints win the round on time drexel just a little bit too slow a little slow not gonna be able to make that round into something spectacular here but ultimately it, it, it was to be expected, so you can't beat yourself up too much, but you can only wonder what if, you know, what if. But as we're heading into this next round, you have to forget about the past and only worry about the present and the future, as that's all that matters in this game. Yes, you got to focus on the present. Stay, stay cognizant of what is in front of you. As we pan over, it seems like Drexel is about to be right in front of Petro here. Or Rice, yes, actually, as he has a submachine gun, doesn't do much, though, as Bite gets a quick kill. Now, 
the Saints are throwing all their ordnance here to try and slow down Drexel here. All the smokes, all the nades, all the flashes, anything they can muster to try and stop any push from Drexel, but it's not going to be enough. All five are still standing, and they even have a Galil on their side. It's not going to be looking great for the Saints here unless they can start getting some kills, and I think the Saints know that Drexel is trying to psych them out here. They got a kill. They yeah. moved with confidence initially, but they really don't have the gun advantage. So the Saints know this. They're going to play the nice, long, safe sight lines. Safe? is going to be the keyword here and it's going to pay off as that flash comes through it was covered it was played it was calculated making it so that jbh wouldn't be able to retaliate to the play coming out but the ak spray is going to do a good amount of damage mickey's going to be able to capitalize off of the chaos for petro finding a return kill as well it's going to be bodies falling for drexel three to two over here for the saints with the advantage now it's just one left for drexel university with a very cool mac 10 skin i gotta say and it's gonna be paying off it's gonna allow him to get a kill through the wall there but ultimately gonna go down i you know you have an m4 in your hand but i think it might be worth it to pick up that mac 10 skin that's just me it's a good skin yeah you know? I, i'm gonna I think check the price skin, of it and skins get wins but it's looking like that might not always be the case as the saints ultimately get the win here and actually take the lead once again against mm. drexel university four to three not much of a lead, but it might start to become one if they can play their cards right. Drexel, I think they're looking to buy for next here. They have enough money to buy, invest a little bit more, but no, they're going to once again go with the pistols, play the economy, and try and drag this one out just a little bit further. If you had to guess the price of that MAC-10 skin, what would you guess? One ten. It's about 50 cents. I'm buying wow. it as soon as I get home. So. That's a steal. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of steals, that grenade almost stole his life away, but Mickey finds it anyways. He's a master thief as he steals another soul. Another soul claimed by the Grim Reaper. <laughs> and if he can find another one, perhaps, no, a wall is going to keep him safe. But as he comes up to the terminal, he's going to put him down with the clean headshot. Nobody is going to be there to put him out of his misery. Just Feb here, but with the smoke returning up, forcing him to play through Upper Park. And this could also go very poorly. If you have a Tech Knight in your hand, someone watching with an AK-47, for example, could really take you out very easily like we just saw down to 55 hp it's going to be rough for inside drexel university to try to take anything out of this round it's going to be very rough indeed as one goes down it's all down to one he takes the gunfight and he wins it somehow but he's gonna read another teammate and that's gonna be a clear saint win once again five to three this gap is widening it's all up to Drexel right here, right now. This is the round they need to win. As things are looking pretty dicey for them economically. $200, $400, $600 left in the bank for the team as a whole. It's all or nothing for them. We'll see if the Saints can truly put them in the hole here. The Saints must be feeling good about themselves here, but it could not be, you know, you don't want to let that take over your gameplay. You want to make sure you're playing with your heads up, your mind active, but <laughs> Andy getting hit by a grenade. Not by the effects of a grenade, but a literal grenade hitting him in the side of the head, going to do one point of damage and just make him a little bit angry, forcing him to back off just a little bit now. The Chosen One pushing up through Park, going to see one hop over to A-Site. Andy watching the long angle, but he's not going to see the Chosen One coming through, but it doesn't matter because he's going to be We'll get the flick and get the kill ultimately very well played by andy now drexel university missing one who should be still alive all things considered it's gonna have to allow them to really just think about how they're gonna take this round going forward feb doing a good amount of damage or none can't, can't quite say for sure <laughs> with the galil you never know at least gonna walk away with that with his life intact which you gotta always thank your lucky stars it's never guaranteed miggy now holding upper park to see if they're gonna try to make any rotations through it if they do he'll be there to kill them <laughs> behind the barrel feb is gonna have that barrel in his mind's eye flash coming out over to water not gonna see anyone over there though with the op in hand bite We're checking out a site seeing if anybody wants to peek but it's just andy there and he's sitting still like a statue another flash coming out forcing him to turn his eyes a little bit but of course there's no follow-up you know but it just might just be there to make him sit there and wait and think that they're gonna be coming through but f finds the kill onto petro as he gets the kill onto feb trying to make 
make their way through. So they're going to get the opening onto B and get the plants off. It's just Andy with the M4 to fight against Drexel University's 3 on A to retake it. Andy with the M4. His back's up against the wall. 17 health, 91 armor. So that's not going to do him much good going forward. This is a very bad situation for him. And I think he's just not even going to walk into this rat's nest here. He's going to go back and wait it out, carry the M4 into the next round, and just save a little bit of cash. A little bit of cash can go a long way, especially when you are St. Clair College. You know, these guys can do a lot with just one gun. So saving this M4 can do a lot for their chances of success in this next round, as they will most likely go for an eco round, but that's going to allow Jay, uh, Andy to save a good amount of money. Maybe he could give this to someone. Maybe he could buy a Deagle for himself. But the rest of them are probably going to buy Deagles. Or it seems they're going to be going for a little bit of a force buy. Um, two Deagles on the side of St. Clair College. The rest are going to get rifles. And Drexel University going to be doing the same. Just full buying all around. In fact, one of them picking up an op. So the Saints really want to get something accomplished in this round. They don't want to give Drexel University another round to have their way with it. So they have to play aggressive here, but they can't let everything get out of hand. They have to make sure that if whatever they do, they do it with a plan. And I think they're going to be able to do that successfully as right now we're watching their angles and their holds. It seems very disciplined, very organized. They have two watching uh, on B, one watching pipe, one watching uh, platform, and over on A, one watching mid, one watching upper park. So, in fact, hovering between those two. So, they're going to be catching all their bases, one close enough to connect her to get any rotations. They're going to be playing this very solidly. Same with Drexel University, just playing slow, playing safe. Maybe they're going to push up through terminal, maybe mid, but that's where most of them are going to be, leaving one behind over on their spawn, more, more or less. Uh, Andy, playing slow with that same N4 he was holding from the previous round, is about to be confronted. He's going to find nobody as Reen immediately gets to flick, taking him down, and that's going to allow an opening for Drexel University to get over onto A. It's a big opening for them. They're going to really flush into this A site here. Mickey finds one, but it's not going to be enough as he gets taken down by Feb. And now bullets are flying, bodies are dropping. And now look at all that ordnance. He's going to have to retreat out of here. 40 seconds is taking as the bomb has been planted by Drexel. Feb getting another kill on top of that. It's two. V4 for the Saints. They're in such a good spot, but now it's all kind of falling apart here as Drexel is looking to even up the scoreline once again in this half. This be these beginning halves are so mm. dead even. Even when it seems like one team is beginning to take the lead, kind of take momentum here, it seems to be answered just the same by the other team almost a few rounds later. And nonetheless, with no one there to defuse the bomb, this round is going to go over to Drexel University. Yep, another save round for the Saints. They're going to be tied up. Oh, pff, I mean, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, okay. No. At least okay. going to find the one onto the chosen one there. But losing one of your two in your save, it's going to hurt quite a bit, especially since the Saints really just poured every dollar that they had left into that last round. So, uh, you know, not a lot of money to work with here. At most, they're going to get some deagles, maybe five sevens and some nades, but they're not going to be able to make anything miraculous happen in this round. They still have that one M4 from that previous round, but Drexel University definitely with the gun advantage, even again, holding on to an op to make their dreams come true. But Saints getting aggressive, using this opportunity with their uh, lack of money. So just throw caution to the wind and start seeing if they can find Drexel University from behind, and they're going to be pushing through and getting behind them very soon as they recognize that they're not pushing up A, they're going to make their way over to the back of B, going through Connector, it seems. But Drexel University already on site, already getting the plant, and the Saves are going to be coming up through Construction here. I believe, no, they're going to be coming up through Connector, out through that door, and that's honestly really scary here, because you know, it's not hard to spray that door down, but Rai wow. doing an incredible job getting Feb, but Pe Feb was able to get Petro just before. Bite holding that angle now with an op. Just one Saint left. He's going to be in Canal. Going to push up through Pipe, perhaps, and turns at the worst possible time. He's probably going to go down just now as Bite finds him with the op. Now, Saints playing off of the back foot now, losing the lead to Drexel. They are going to have to make something happen here in this next round. Yeah, luckily they do have the funds to buy rifles and some some ordnance here, but it's not looking great for them overall. Drexel still has the lead here. It will buy 
everything just fully kitted out. Helmets, anything you could ever want. And now the Saints really have their work cut out for them here, which is a shame because they had such a strong start. Mm -hmm. Now they're just clamoring to try and make this <laughs> end up even here. He's going to peek the door, try and push up with his team, but... It looks like Drexel is going to push the other way. There's some, some shots coming through the smokes. Finds It's a mark, but doesn't find that kill. Just peppered down to 53 HP on the side of Miggy here as we move over to Rai. You see me pushing through this tunnel, encroaching on the spawn of Drexel. Someone's there waiting for him. It's going to be Feb. Feb finds one. Will he find the other? He knows he's low. He finds two at the beginning of the round, making this a 4v3. 4v3. Now it's going to be a 3v2 as Andy with three cards in his hand. Cards representing the souls of the damned. <laughs> Poking up through mid with a tech 9 in hand. He's going to get the peek onto him, but now it's a 3v1 as Miggy cheekily takes out Feb in similar fashion to how that tech 9 took down Andy. With the smoke, just keeping connector locked off. Going to be trying to find the rotation over to B site to get the plant, which again easier said than done it's a scary situation to be in but they're gonna have to make it work one way or the other as you know sometimes crazy things happen things fall when they shouldn't and they're gonna have to make something work out of it because they don't really have a choice 20 seconds left on the clock they're gonna have to clean up what they dropped and they're gonna put it in the pocket to take the round because they're gonna be coming up through pipe and see if they can clear it out gonna get the plant off the saints play a little too cautiously for their own good but Better safe than sorry is what they're probably going to be saying here as they do have the advantage here, but they might not have it for long as he's holding on with the odd oh, but the flick and a shoot through the wall, almost putting him down. But thanks to that padding from the debris <laughs> there, it's going to keep him alive just enough to get the kill and take the round for the Saints. And it's going to be now we're tied once more 6-6 six, six in this game three. And I'm wondering going into this next half, will we see one team really outshine the other because I feel like every single time we've switched to one of these halves, sure these games have been very close, but it seems like one of these teams really comes into their own once we flip these sides. It seems like they've become really comfortable with the positioning on this map after they've played so many rounds on it, they really come in with a solid game plan, either on the attack or the defense. I don't know, what do you think, Daniel? Who do you think is going to take this one? I really feel like, mm, I don't know, it's hard to say because I'm seeing some patterns here and the human mind likes to recognize patterns, but they don't always map onto reality. I, I really do feel like anybody can take this one as long as they're able to recognize the game state and play around it in mind. You know, not making any economic blunders while not playing too cautiously that you end up throwing rounds that you should have won, you know. I, I feel like as long as they look for the picks that they should be looking for, I feel like as long as they're playing to save when they should be, not pushing or not overextending, if they just play with their head screwed on straight, it should be a pretty easy game for either of these teams. But in any case, it's going to be hard because both these teams are going to be looking to do exactly that. And Rai pushing up. Feb going to get that headshot. JBH is going to be next to fall down. Water is going to be held out. But Reen is going to find two. Now F finding two as well with Andy being the last man standing for the Saints. Not for long, however. It's going to be a round for Drexel. Taking him out. It's going to be six to seven. The Saints are fighting for a chance. And I got to say, now I think Drexel might take this one. That was a very very clean round. I believe in the Saints. I believe that they can maybe salvage something of this, but just going off of what I saw that round, they had a perfect positioning on that site. And I just hope that the Saints are able to bring some perfection of their own to the table here. Perfection is going to be the word of the day here for both of these teams as we get ever closer to the coveted number <laughs> 10 Who's going to get there first is going to determine a lot for the rest of the game, I feel. Both of these teams playing off of momentum 
very critically bite. He's going to find Rai. He's flying back. The Chosen One, at least going to get spotted out. So they're there, but it's going to get enough time for all of those holding on A to push down the offense from the Saints on those stairs. It's not going to be enough. You can't just go in haphazardly. You have to have some kind of a plan. And it felt like the Saints didn't have one there. So now the Saints, they're going to have some money to work with. But again, it's a desperation buy, full buy. They have no choice, no money left. They have to make this round work or they're going to be looking down most likely 10 to 6 in the very near future. I'd have to believe you there. But I think if they win this round, they're going to be able to turn around here. It's all or nothing for the Saints. You don't want to be behind when it's this close. We're going to see a lot of nades come out here, a lot of flashes, a lot of smokes. And there's going to be a nice little standoff here happening near Park. We're near the fountain right now. He's spraying the smoke. Doesn't find much, but Petro finds one on the other side. That's going to be a huge pick for the Saints. And if they can press the advantage here, they'll be looking to be in a great position. But, you know, he's not in a great position right now. F, he's holding this corner, and he has to defend against a multiple Saints bites. Has a really good position, though, near this fountain. Finds one. Looking Ooh. to find two. And now there's a third. But the third is going to peek him as well. Beautiful. Will he get the third pick? That is the question. Will he get the triple trifecta special? Oh. No, he will not as he runs away. <laughs> Not quite close enough. JBH now sitting on construction, holding quite possibly the most unique angle I've ever seen in my life, but it's going to be paying off eventually. Now with Reen holding my personal favorite gun here, the MP5 silenced. Going to see if he can get some damage done here with Andy holding the bomb just outside a pipe. Flashes are going to come out, giving Andy the opportunity to push through, but he's not going to be affected by the flash for long, so he's going to be able to get the retaliation. Sees the bomb on the floor, going to throw down the molly to deter the saves from going on and getting it back. But it's not going to be a perfect molly. It's going to be leaving enough of a gap for <laughs> Petra to just sneak on by. Just, oop, sorry there. And going to pick up the bomb, get the plant, but coming out from behind very soon, it's going to be the very man that put him down, but not going to be good enough. Petro getting the flick, or at least trying to. Reen is going to get the flick even better, even faster, and going to turn that into a victory for Drexel. Yeah, it was just a matter of flicks there when it all came down to it, but now they have a three-point lead. The Saints, ever since the round switch, have not won a single round. Things are looking very, very dire for them. And now, with a lot of loss bonuses, they're going to go for the full AK buy. They're investing a lot into this round. They're feeling very confident. Or they just feel like they have to do something here, which is the truth. They have to try and win a round here sometime, as they don't have much rounds left to lose. So we move over to Reen Machine. He's going to spray down this tunnel, invest the molly as well. F, though, going to get the first pick, and that's got to be awful for the Saints mental going forward, but you have to stand strong. Petro is climbing through the tunnel with his teammates. We see a spray from JBH trying to throw them off, trying to draw some attention over towards A. Oh, and we're Andy. seeing a nice double kill from Andy. In my brain, I was just thinking, if the Saints lose this round, it's going to be damn near impossible to recover from, but Andy getting those kills, I feel like that's just the momentum you need, even just being able to shout nice to your teammate. You need moments like that to keep you in the game so it was looking very bleak for the Saints there even if they again even if they lose this round I still feel like they'll have the spirit in them to keep on fighting but now JBH and the rest oh. of the crew just so close fighting he's still able to scrap through Andy with his third of the round even just trying to get a wall bang and uh, not going to quite get it in fact very far away from it but at least they're going to get the plants off Reen sneaking around sneaking around sees him going to get the flick but no Petro finding the flick from the previous round. He found it. It came to him eventually. And it's going to be a round now for the Saints back on the board. And we have to shout out Andy for being that shining array of hope in the Saints' darkest time. They were in a really rough spot. You could tell even just how they are playing mentally. They felt like we haven't gotten a win in so mm -hmm. long. And they, just those little wins, just getting those double kills, those multi-kills just feel so good. They light up the serotonin in your brain. And that is just sometimes just enough to kickstart the engine and get you moving again. And looking at the board right now, they are looking to move very, very well. They are up on money. They are up on loadout. A lot of stuff to use. But with the chosen one and getting the chosen headshot, it's going to be... 
very, very tough from here on out. A 4v5 is nothing to sneeze at. Just one man difference matters so, so, so much when you're in these team-based tactical shooters. Now we're going to see Miggy lead the charge here. Push up. We see op for op. Bite finds one. Bite fight gets taken out. And now... Move over to the M4 here on Feb. He finds so many, and the Saints get wiped out in a matter of seconds. A matter of seconds is all it takes to shatter the dreams of an aspiring Counter-Strike team. But it's all those seconds still that can bring them back from the brink and send them into a dimension of glory and bliss. Whether or not the Saints will be able to take this next round, we'll have to find out on the next episode of St. Clair College. But that <laughs> that's episode's be airing right now. now. It's a nice <laughs> double back-to-back -back special this Friday as we move on over to our special B site. We're going to see how it goes down here. All the Saints are pushing through, leading a death charge through the fire and the flames. Reen Machine's going to get one, two, three, and Rice, yes, is going to get one in revenge. It's a 2v4 situation. Make that 1v4 as Feb takes down Petro. It's all down to Miggy here, AK-47 in hand. Can he find a kill, and can he find a four of them? If you can manage to do that the Saints will be back on the board here back on the board but are they back on the surfboard to ride the wave of victory the <laughs> frag grenade really just surprising even you and I not sure how it found him there but it did I really don't even know why you'd bother throwing a frag grenade in that situation but it paid off even a little bit but Feb ultimately going to pay off right into Miggy's head and it's going to take the round for Drexel University 11-7 to the Saints are looking bleak 11 to, 11 to 7, the inverse of a certain convenience store here. Got to be worried about that. It's not looking very convenient right now for the Saints. They really want to make this all the way to the top here. They need to get at least a few more rounds on the board to feel like this is very competitive because right now, Drexel, they just need two in the Saints. Yeah. They need five. And they don't have enough gas in the tank. And even if they had a chance in Shell to make it work for them, they're going to have to really pour and fill up their tank to, <laughs> to, to make it work. But if they're going to find it, they're going to have to do so now, almost getting the kill there with the op. But Andy's just really a fish in a barrel there, covering his eyes and leaping through the skies. Eventually going to go down with one HP left in the tank. It's going to be Drexel University now with a heavy advantage. Another Sorry, another frag bounced there and hit another saint. It's got to be rough. It did a lot of damage to him. JBH. Chosen there, one walking in backwards. Uh, cool trick, but not going to pay out there. He's going to go down. JBH is going to fall in response, however. That sign says Garnite, and it's going to spell Garnite for Feb there as Petro gets the kill. But another op shot. They haven't cleared the op. And backside fight is going off right now. Gets two. He's out of bullets. He has to switch to the pistol. No, he's not out of bullets. He gets three. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I, I should not be cheering for that. But that was okay. That was beautiful. I got to say. And, uh, you know. Plays cannot be biased. When you see something excellent, you gotta call it excellent. And wow, uh, wow, I'm still not over that bite. Really, just <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> very clean op spree. Put that on your resume. Put that on your montage and stamp it approved. Even the Saints approve of that one. Well played. And we're gonna be 12 to seven now. The Saints fighting for their chance. The last breath. They have no money left. All they have are AKs in their pocket, and they have to be trying their hardest here because losing this means losing the series. And if they're gonna be putting all of their effort into it, it's gonna have to be now. JBH gonna get smoked off from both entrance points here. They're not going to be able to spot him out, but as a response, they're not going to. He's not going to be able to spot them out as well. So, gonna have to just up to play slow. You don't want to be making any risky plays when you have no lives left. This could be your last chance, and just like that, Rai's gonna fall. But Petro taking out F at the exact same time. It's gonna be an even trade, but JBH finding the chosen one now. Petro gonna go down. Response. It's gonna be even up until now as Miggy falls with nobody on the side of Drexel falling in response. It's gonna be a three v two now. Feb gonna be rotating over to B site. It's going to be scary, but you have to do something here if you're one of the Saints. And that play is going to be pushing up through construction with the bomb in hand as JBH pushes up through pipe. Going to be entering through 
B site, and the Opera is holding it, and they spot him, and immediately at the exact same time, in synchronous action, they're gonna find the last Saint alive, and make him alive no longer, taking the series 2-1 over St. Clair College. That's gonna be the final game of the evening, as Call of Duty's already wrapped up. You know, if you're watching that on a second monitor, second tab, perhaps you'll know that the Saints overcame 3-0 over Southern Arkansas University. So, one loss, one victory. We can call that a zero-sum game here. The Saints are going to wrap it up tonight after those games have concluded. Yeah, and speaking of wrapping things up, the Drexel wrapped it up really nicely there in the last couple of rounds. you got to respect the op shots. The Saints, they fought really well, but Drexel just fought that much better in the end. It was a very great game mm -hmm. showing from both teams, though. It was a great game to watch, and CS is always such a joy. Always a joy, especially for me, a game close to my own heart absolutely love whenever we get to see it and you know call of duty always oh, nice to see as well and you know it's also nice to see matthias tomorrow, tomorrow. we have c law lined up so that's going to be scheduled but you know college of sports things can change things get rescheduled so if you never want to miss anything you can always follow our social media to know what's going to be scheduled when it's going to be played and where you can watch it so always make sure you stay tuned with there and speaking of staying tuned speaking of staying caught up it's time to stay caught up with our thanks. I got to yeah, thank exactly. you, of course. Thank you for watching. Oh, thank you for casting welcome. with me. Thank you to Tommy, Amanda, and Ari in the back. And thank you to of our sponsors, of course. We have Subway, Tim Hortons, HyperX, the St. Clair College Alumni Association, and the St. Clair uh, College SRC. So thank you to our sponsors for making this possible. And thank you to the viewers at home for watching. It's always a joy here casting. And We'll see you tomorrow for some more great Saints gaming action. Have a good night, everybody, and we'll see you.